Hello YouTube, hello people. Your people. Your people are good. Um, 26th of March 2016. Easter Saturday. So this is when uh, Yeshua was decomposing his own body according to A.J. Miller. I don't know, I wasn't there. Okay, right, so the title of this video is Enoch's Return. Right, last time I made a video was 3rd of March. And um, I talked about the um, dependence feeling and the hopelessness feeling. Or at least I think I seem to remember that I did. But, um, yeah, that, that hopelessness one, that, that comes up a lot. Um, and um, when you're refusing to feel the hopelessness feeling, it, it comes about sort of, you know, you give up on things. In your mind, you know, you're thinking maybe there's something you want to do in your life, whether it's be a professional footballer or attain oneness with God. And you just sort of, any sort of hint of this hopelessness, and you um, give up. Not going to be able to do it, it's not going to work out. And you go on and think about something else. So that, that really comes up. So all you have to do is just allow a feeling of hopelessness. Just allow that feeling, and eventually you'll have you'll have felt all the hopelessnessness <laughs> that you've denied all your life. There's so however many there are, and but it's not like with that one. It's like you just feel a bit, and then you and it doesn't seem to last more than a few seconds really and then you, you know you have this wonderful feeling <laughs> after having done it which is from God our parent and teacher yes right so that was the end of February now I've written there it happened March 9th 2016 so, but before I talk about that, um, this bit underneath, excited feeling, 22nd of March 2016, and it's not a good. So, I remember once stating on a comment in a forum, what's wrong with being excited? And uh, didn't get an answer because I was getting kicked off the forum. <laughs> so, but yeah, being excited is, is wrong for your soul. It's not, uh, it's not, um, sort of God's, you know, it's not down with God. God's not down with it. <laughs> and the reason is, is because it's an, it's, um, in there? you know, like Bruce Lee said, never predict the outcome. You go into a fight, never think I'm going to win or I'm going to lose. So it's about living in the moment. So getting excited about a future event, which is, you know, what else do you get excited about? You know, it's always going to be a future thing, even if the future is just a few minutes away. It's still in the future. It's still an expectation of what's going to happen. And when you're meditating, you know, it, it comes up a lot, you know, you start feeling a bit of God and then straight away you're like, oh yeah, this is going to be awesome. And then you've lost it because you've gone into this excitedness. So, so you don't, so you start feeling God, say, or, you know, it feels like some coming strong and it's going to be a good one or whatever. And rather than feeling excited, you just kind of stay in the moment. But there's a 
there's sort of something to feel anyway. So when you're feeling, you know, you'll you'll feel it. Um, another thing I was going to say, you know, a lot of these feelings are, you know, in this, you know, this this area here, in here, is like your emotional centre of your soul. So, you know, a lot of people could be thinking, oh, you know, I'm, I felt something then. You know, that's probably just just my food, you know. But you see, you can feel something in your soul. Say you heal an error in your soul. So you feel some hopelessness, right? So you've healed a little error in your soul. Your your soul has now got less hopelessness to feel. And that will then immediately, pretty much, because the soul is dominant over both the spirit body and the physical body, that will then immediately affect the physical body. So you might feel some hopelessness and then you hear, you know, some trapped wind sort of move or something like, you know, a little gurgle or something like that. So, you know, then you get the thought, oh, I, you know, I'm not feeling myself, my, my stomach's just rumbling, right? So, but wrong, you know, you were, you did feel your soul. You know when you're feeling your soul. It's not just a stomach ache or anything, although all your pain that you could feel is as a result of your soul. And, and pain can go so quickly away and turn into something pleasurable when you embrace it. It's amazing how it works. And learn. So on, so on the same um, um, term, you know, as, as excitedness isn't good, so neither is dread. So I've written both wrong on soul level, no expectation of an outcome is good, as it's always now. And so the other thing that I was starting to notice is I can some of this, is, this is in the Mary Magdalene text I think um, so something that Yeshua ben Joseph said when asked a question about the mind and the soul and it stayed there he said that the mind is sort of a projection of the soul and, this, and the mind is in between the soul and the spirit body sort of thing and I also pondered on that quite a bit but what I was feeling the other day, I was feeling like, so I was feeling my soul and it was all, it was all nice, it was all nice in here and stuff, and then I felt sort of something as if it was, you know, attacking it or, you know, doing that to my soul, and I was feeling it here, and I was kind of trying to feel where the feeling was coming from, and then I could feel like my soul, I was here, so I was, I was then feeling what this was telling me. So I could go between feeling it here, and that was like my mind was projected outside of my soul, to then realising that, well, I am, if you like, in here, so I'm feeling it. And it was much easier to deal with was when I went in here. So when I was feeling it, you know, like, so my mind wasn't projected outside anymore, I was in myself. Follow that? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? That's uh, AJ Miller's way of ending a little <laughs> thing. So it's Nikki. Nikki from the Divine Truth Forum. And he kicked me out again. Does that make sense? You didn't read the terms and conditions. Does that make sense? You're out. Anyway, I'm glad actually because, to be honest, if I had stayed on that forum, this on March 9th would not have happened. So yeah, let's talk about the elephant in the room, shall we? So probably just as you thought, you know, this guy couldn't get any more extreme. It got more extreme, and I realised a truth about myself, 
And it was surprising to me and quite puzzling and I had to go back to a time when I was thinking about reincarnation, I was changing my belief on reincarnation, that we're all here for the first time, that made so much more sense. <laughs> and that I felt the truth that I was here for the first time. I felt that was a truth. And I'm glad I felt that truth then. So that was back in autumn 2014. Because if I'd felt the truth I felt on March 9th, back then, I, I wouldn't have been ready for it at all. At all. So what was happening March 9th, I was sitting down to meditate. And I felt like I had something down there, you know. And in a sense, ever since the beginning, I had this feeling there was a big thing lurking. Something that was going to come up. <laughs> I, I'm sure you've already guessed. Interesting if you haven't. Um, so, I sort of concentrated on that feeling and allow it come up. And then I just thought, what was the first thing? It was, it was just, it's just I'm Enoch. And then, just, you know, one of the strongest feelings I've had, you know, in the last few years. Just really very, very powerful and hit this realization right i've been my soul's been incarnate for before i was conceived my soul been incarnate for 5000 years ish and that realization that Yeah, I mean, and the reason I didn't make a video about it straight away is because it's pretty massive. I wanted to feel more about it. Obviously, I wanted to get some more confirmations. And uh, I thought, wow, have I got a lot to think about? <laughs> have I got some material to sit and think about? Which has been hard as well because it's, you know, and I wanted, like, I thought, right, I definitely want a full memory, you know sight, vision, smell and everything, and I haven't had one yet. And to get one, I'm pretty sure it's going to have to be another very deep feeling, which, you know, I can't force. It's down to God. So I haven't had a full memory of life as Enoch. Um, but very familiarity when I'm feeling God, and it, Enoch walked with God for 300 years, as it says, um, then obviously I would have been with God a lot. And yeah, so much to think about with that, you know, the soulmate thing too. Um, I should have come to conclude that my soulmate would also have been incarnate with me. That, you know, it would have been both of us as one soul. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's that. But I'm sharing this with you because since I've thought this, since I've felt this, um, things have made more sense and I've been more confident. You know, I was a little bit sort of, well, I'm Enoch and Christ. I mean, this is a bit full on. And, you know, one doesn't replace the other. So it's not like, oh, I'm not Christ, I'm just Enoch. This is God's plan, basically. And I guess it was a thing with, you know, it was God's plan from the start, I guess. It's, it's not my wish if I was walking with God, doing, you know, letting God be my teacher and doing God's will. This is prob what quite perhaps God's 
suggestion, if you like, God's plan that I would go incarnate, not carry on in the spirit world with the others that I know, I guess, <laughs> right? And I've had some feelings, but not too many, but something I won't go into yet, because it's very, very fishy, but it involves Cain and Abel type. Yeah, it's a bit... <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing where I am. But no, so I'm sharing this truth with you because it's, it's making more sense to me and therefore may make more sense to you. Or may not. That's up to you. And I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's why I'm doing the video. So any feedback would be um, appreciated. And uh, thanks for I had some nice comments lately. Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting, you know, trickle of more subscribers. So yeah, that's good. It's good because, um, frankly, yeah, we need to get these messages out of love and God and the truth of it. And there's one more for you to ponder on. So yeah, it would have been God's plan for the, if you like, the last Christ, the King, you know, to come, to God to have a, a vessel on the earth, and it was Enoch, me. Good, isn't it? <laughs> it's weird, but there we go. What can I say? So, you know, obviously you've got more feeling to do on it. Um, most of my meditation work at the moment is just, you know, just to get down feeling God and feeling good, feeling love and, and perhaps, you know, trying to be that beacon. And I can... I can feel things are getting better, that all souls, it's the feeling when you feel all of humanity, all, all the brothers and sisters, is definitely improving. And it will, you know, I think it's starting to, starting to go now. <laughs> and once it starts to go, it's going to be BAM! So, look forward to God coming soon. Because the more people bringing it and believing it, and I'm seeing more and more people believing in God, it's what's going to bring it. It's, yeah, this is quite an important message, actually. It's down, it is, it is us that's going to bring God. We are going to bring God. And that's what we're fighting against. The the ones who want to put us down, the ones who deceive us, because that stops us bringing God. And uh, was I saying in a video last time about the population? You know, the real we now God's obviously designed the, the population towards the end of this time is is unprecedented. You know, the population of the Earth has been so small for so long. It was really in the 1960s and 70s. Boom. The world population boomed. So we've got more power now than ever before to change. The soul is powerful. The soul changes your surroundings. So there's 7 billion people, 7 billion souls on the planet. So let's do it. <laughs> let's bring our happiness and our loving levels up everybody, love yourself, love God, love existence. Let's do this. We can, um, we can bring God to earth and it's going to be awesome. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs>